everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial Yay! Marie never does well I say I never do makeup tutorials I'm not fantastic at makeup but you know what I get by I get by um, uh, basically a few weeks ago I went to a look fantastic um, event which was with Mac cosmetics and it was a really lovely event and we were gifted some really amazing products a lot of them of which I hadn't used before so I was really excited to get on and try them out and so I thought that I'd include them today in today's makeup tutorial it's just going to be quite a natural because I'm, I'm, I don't really wear a lot of makeup to be fair but I'm going to use the products that I was gifted because I, because I think there's some really lovely products in there and I hope that you like this video or the MAC product I'm going to be using will be available on the Look Fantastic website um, the link will be down in the description box down below and if you would like to receive a discount you can use my discount code which is just Marie 18 I'll leave that all in the description box yeah I'm just going to crack on so I'm not actually going to do my eyebrows because they have already been done but what I'm going to do is move on to the rest of my face so which I really really like this foundation I usually use the studio fix but I found that this pro long wear nourishing waterproof foundation it's obviously waterproof and it gives me a really really flawless finish so I thought I'd use that Right, so first things first, I'm just going to reach for my MAC strobing cream, which I was gifted, and pop a bit of that on the back of my hand. Um, this, by the way, is going to give me a bit of a glow, and I'm just going to mix it in with my foundation, which is the Pro Long Wear, and then using my Real Techniques Buffer Brush, two together, literally, on the back of my hand. Um, I'm not going to use an awful lot because I don't really like to cake makeup on. So I've never really used any other foundation other than the Studio Fix because I've used it. I was recommended it by a makeup artist when I um, did a photo shoot years ago. And to be honest, I've just always kind of stuck with that. But sometimes it's good to kind of just experiment and try something different. And your skin obviously changes over the years, over the seasons even, so, you know, what might work and look great for one season might not work for the next. So it's good to kind of just keep um, trying different foundations if you can. And they don't necessarily have to be high-end ones, but I do certainly recommend this MAC Pro Long Wear. For the fact that it's waterproof is really, really good, because obviously in the heat... If you do decide that you want to wear just a little bit of foundation, you know that it's not going to move around. So, yes. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is go in with my Beauty Forever Concealer. It's a 3-in-1 concealer. Um, it's on just about every makeup video I've ever done because I just tend to stick with the same products, to be honest. But if I like a product, I'm happy to kind of incorporate it into my makeup regime so I'm just gonna next then I'm just gonna go in with my trusted powder my go-to powder is this, which I hype on and on about. It's the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder from Wilkinson's. I'm just and just let it sit. I like to use this product because number one, it never fails to do what I ask it to do, and that is just to give me the flawless finish that I require. And it just it just does. <music> which is my, gosh, it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I literally just going to put that over my eyelids. And this just helps my eyeshadow to stick 
I'm so excited to use this eyeshadow. Okay, so this is the pretty little MAC palette, the eyeshadow palette that I was gifted. And it is, it's called Burgundy times nine. So obviously there's nine little shades of burgundy in there. And I just think it's such a pretty palette. There's not one colour in there that I would not use. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And now I'm not just saying it, I actually have used the palette a few times. I love the colours and the range of colours and I'm able to mix and blend them really nicely. And they're very highly pigmented, of course, they're MAC. There's this MAC Prep and Prime, which is really good for allowing the eyeshadow to stick to the brush. So what I do is just give my brush a few pumps. Right, then what I'm going to do is take this champagne colour. Okay, I'm not going to put any of the prep and prime on because I don't want it to be too shiny. I just kind of want it subtly in my brow bone. So I'm just going to literally run that along there. And the same with the other one. And then I'm gonna just blend, blend it down. <laughs> in this video but it is mainly I would say it's mainly MAC products that I'm using and I just wanted to trial this because it's not as fine as I would like okay I'm just going to use this MUA black coal pencil here I'm just going to go back in to the dark maroon uh, the dark plum color and just take that under my eyelash under my eyelash take it on my lower lash line so all I need now on my eyes is a pot of mascara so I'm gonna dig down into my goodie bag um, Sorry, this was actually the bag that we were gifted and it came full of all the little bits and pieces that I'm showing you now. If you watch the video of the event, you'll see that um, we had a foundation um, test to see which foundation was going to be best for us and we were recommended um, the right foundation for our skin in terms of um, colour match. And so yeah, I'm still waiting for mine. <laughs> but anyway, this is my mascara. Um, this is the mascara that I'm going to be using. It's the Extreme Dimension Lash Mascara in shade 
a black extreme. I've used this before. I quite like um, this mascara because it's not like your normal one with the, you know, the uh, brushed sort of spoolie. It's like got plastic, knobbly, tiny little hair-like knobbly bits. If that makes sense. <laughs> Around it, which are great for really combing through your lashes and bringing the product all the way through. I'm not going to put any lashes on, I just want to see how this mascara is going to work by itself. I've got none on the top, I've got none, I've got even less on the bottom. I mean, I know that everyone's got less on the bottom, but you know, it's non existent really. But the trick to get your mascara on is to gently brush away from you and sort of pull through the lashes and turn the mascara wand at the same time. So, those are my eyes done. The blusher that I'm going to go with today is another MAC product and it is in shade Desert Rose. This is my go-to sort of blush, it's what I use every day. I just pop a bit of that on my cheekbone and bring it up into my hair. And I'm just using quite a chunky a Real Techniques brush. I really like this brush because it just gets all the product on it and it gets quite a lot of product on it all in one go so I like using this one and I like the way that it feels on my cheeks because it's so soft. See it doesn't do a great deal but it just gives me a little bit of um, a little bit of life in a face that you know just needs a little bit more of a dimension I guess a little bit more dimension um, in terms of colour. So this is the Skin Finish Mineralize um, Global Glow and I just kind of put this as a highlight over the tops of my whoops tops of my cheeks the colour is like that it's a really lovely you can see it's really hard pigmented I use that on the top of my cheeks there sort of under my eyes you know what I mean you've watched enough of them is cyber world and the lip color we is in shade cre creme in your coffee cream in your coffee um so yeah i'm just gonna outline <laughs> Using lip liners even since since going to that MAC event taught me so much because you can really change up the colour of a lipstick just with a lip pencil. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be regimental in that lip liners are for outlining your lips, but you can use them to kind of um, add dimension to your lips as well. So that's what I'm demonstrating here. So the colour, it's quite a light colour. It's it's sort of a nude, it looks like a nude um, salmon-y type colour. So I'm just going to bring it in the inside of my lip here, where I've left the space, and here. You know, it's really 
changed up the colour of the lipstick because as I showed you it was like a salmony colour but coupled with that sort of very deep um, currant uh, blackberry purpley cyber world <laughs> that's the name of it it just gives it a whole different look I'm really really liking that that colour combination at the moment and I think it goes really really lovely with that palette. I'm just going to fix all my makeup in place using the Prep and Prime. And that there is my finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please share. I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye!